The next day! Well, good Saturday morning, everybody. This is Dave with Cruising to Lose Weight. And we're uh, at 7.30 in the morning. And we're still not in Galveston docked right now. As you can see, uh, we're just outside the uh, the mouth of Gal Port Galveston and um, the Carnival Dream and the Royal Caribbean Adventure of the Seas which was the ship I'm getting on later today have been docked there since six o'clock this morning so the uh, the slow vista and now a combination of the fog rolling in has reduced our speed to a crawl so um, we're, it's gonna be another hour, I think they said, before we even dock. And, uh, so we're looking at 8.30, which is fine. You know, I've got plenty of time today. I can't check in uh, at Royal Caribbean until 12, 12.30. So I've got a lot, a lot of time in between, so it doesn't bother me that much, but there's people that are starting to panic a little bit. Uh, they have early flights and, and whatnot, and we needed to get off the ship early, but that's one, uh, one rule to never do is never schedule your, your flight the morning of your return or the day of your departure, because you never know what's going to happen with weather and whatnot. So anyways, we, uh, we're, we're here, we're all packed up, ready to go. We've got one bag of uh, luggage that was collected last night. And we got one bag uh, that we can carry out, and maybe we're going to use that carry out because we got a case of water that we're still uh, going to be trucking out with us. And that's heavy. A case of water is pretty heavy to hug all around the, the ship to get off the ship. So we're going to use our our carry on as a uh, little dolly. But yeah, it's uh, this is our last day here on uh, the Carnival Vista. And uh, this morning I got a little bit of a uh, adventure, hopefully still, to uh, go and uh, head over to Walmart. So I think my game plan is to get a lift, stop at the um, hotel where my car's parked, unload my bags, and then continue on to Walmart, do my shopping, and pick up a new lift and at Walmart, go back to my car, pick up my bags again, and uh, proceed over to the Royal Caribbean. Now, that's my game plan for today, so we'll see if that happens. But uh, um, yeah, I'm kind of excited to get on the uh, Royal Caribbean. It's been, this is only my second time on uh, Royal Caribbean. It's been almost, oh God, almost 10 years ago now since I was on the Allure of the Seas my daughter so um, looking forward to it 
And as you can see, it kind of looks like it's kind of cleared up a little bit. So we're following other boat traffic into the harbor. So hopefully this is going to end pretty good. But anyways, this is going to end uh, week two of uh, cruising to lose weight. We're unable to do a, a weigh-in this morning because I packed my scale in the luggage that was collected last night. So uh, we'll get a, uh, another reading tomorrow. But um, I did start a intermittent fasting schedule of 23-1, 23 hours of fasting, one hour of eating. And that should end this afternoon, hopefully right around the time that I get on the ship, 1.30. And I've got a, a pending reservation at CHOPS. Uh, so we'll see if that all pans out with timing and everything. But um, yeah, we're gonna give it a real good shot this week uh, to get that weight down again. And um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, as you can tell, I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm coming down with a cold or getting over a cold or whatnot, but uh, I'm hoping to shake this thing off. You know, it's, there's been a lot of talk in Facebook posts in the past, you know, people coming down with colds after or crud. Uh, some people have been testing positive still with COVID. Uh, I'm fully vaccinated and boosted, so I'm not worried about that, but um, yeah, hopefully it's just a passive thing. Anyways, appreciate you stopping in and catch you tomorrow morning. Adios.